present system of globalization was built um, in a world where labor was incredibly important for capital. And that's going away. Uh, so the global supply chains that we presently have facilitate that. Those are going away. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have China uh, as your manufacturing hub globally when you no longer need Chinese cheap labor, when China doesn't have rule of law and they are promoting their own internal companies and when their own trajectory is uncertain over the longer term. So, I mean, what you're going to have is, um, like, the energy revolution. Why would you care as much about security in the Middle East if you don't need to get your oil from Saudi Arabia anymore? I mean, as fracking becomes a global phenomenon and energy becomes decentralized, then uh, you're going to be focused much more on the backyard. 3D printing, if you can make things on demand, even, you know, at scale, um, in a very customized way, you know, in your house or down the block, then, you know, sort of what's the point of a centralized node for all of that? Now, the big question will be, what about global data? Is global data going to get fragmented? Will the Internet get fragmented? China, developments in China certainly imply that that will be true at some macro level, but I doubt it's going to be at the city level. I think you're going to, there the advantages of scale are very clearly important. But in other places, that's not as true. So I guess the question will be, um, around the world, how many of the responses are only effective at the local level, at the decentralized level, so that in the U.S. you'll see very effective policy responses to inequality, but they're going to happen in municipalities and in certain states. They won't happen nationally. Inequality across the United States as a whole will grow. This, of course, happened in Europe. I mean, in Europe, people say, oh, Europe is, you know, sort of much more equal than the United States is, but if you compare, like, Greece to Germany doesn't look so equal anymore. It's only because you happen to be looking at equality within these individual states. Well, why would you do that if you're creating a common market? It doesn't make any sense. It's good for Europe's branding, but it's not real. And uh, we don't have, I mean, part of the problem is that the data that we actually collect to reflect on where the problems are are way out of date, right? And we, we have to be thinking in terms of very different types of, um, I mean, Full employment is just no longer going to be a very useful metric because you're going to have so many people that are going to be employed with a gig economy where labor will be on demand. And you need to look at whether or not these people have satisfying lives and do they, are they, are they, you know, are they um, able um, to uh, think of themselves as productive and think of pathways for their children? And also, um, do they have the, the benefits and the infrastructure around them um, to, to continue that? Those are questions that I think the governments have been very inadequate at answering. Now, the answers may not just come from governments. They may come from the private sector, too. I mean, if governments fail, um, the private sector will play more of a role in upholding social contracts. That has been true historically with, let's say, you know, sort of the uh, um, uh, British mercantilism um, in the 19th century. Um, it'll also be true with big U.S. corporations that, you know, say we need to make sure that these people are cared for um, and that's a bigger burden on us because otherwise the people are going to revolt against us, right? So it's going to change a lot. It's going to change very quickly. This is not a 50-year thing. This is a 10-year thing. You're going to see this like under President Trump. So do you think we can nail this wealth inequality issue? No. I think that we will address it in many different ways in different parts of the world. Some will be successful. Some will be... Um, kicking the can down the road and some will be incredibly explosive and the question is the mix.